Hello, this is Derek Tebers. This is your Farming Simulator 2013 Mod Spotlight. We're here in Westbridge Hills Farms. I still have a tractor, and I didn't even realize it. Uh, <laughs> uh, we're here in Westbridge Hill Farms off the Giant's Titanium Pack. We're riding our IZH Planeta. We're going to park over here because last time I almost got it stuck. All right, we have three mods. The third one being much larger than you would expect. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and get started. Just a note, you do have to sign up to download these mods. So when you go to the link down below, it's gonna you're not gonna be able to download it unless you register with the website. So if you don't like that, these are not the mods for you. These are all from the same website, so you sign up once you can get all of these plus a bunch of others. All right, let's go into tractors. And if we go down here into the K's, Kenworth K100, 59950. It's a 9-speed. It's, it's just a truck. It's an 82 semi. Let's buy that. And then down at the very, very bottom is a Western Star Lomax, 59950 as well. So same price, even though the trucks are separated by many, many years. Interesting. All right, so let's get the in-game trailer to test these guys out. Um, tippers. Go. All right, they look a little bit small on the small side, but that, that could be because they're modeled more in the Duke fashion. The engine in there looks nice. All right, we can, oh boy. We can clip in, hello inside, hello feet. You can have someone's foot right in your face. All right. Um, we have a, a nose. That's a waiting issue. They, they need more weight on the front of the truck, so they built the nose out. And I can still think of that. <sighs> okay. All right. The Western Star. Whee. Okay. We know we can clip through the tail. We know why we're clipping through the tail. Oh, Hello. That's, that's a little bit more than just clipping through the tail. Hi, everybody. I'm a ghost. Hello. That's one big shifter right there. And some weird textures. All right. Um, okay. This one has no need for a nose. There should not be a nose on this one um, because it's got a tail. Um, they just need to shift the whole truck back. All right. Let's get in our Kenworth here. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, our headliner has apparently fallen down and crushed our radio and part of our CB. What's going on up there? I don't know. Okay. Let's start it up. Okay. Lights. Good. Let's see if it's got turn signals. Does not. Looks like it's probably multiplay ready. Nice horn. All right, let's, uh, it's got nice smoke coming out. That's, that's good. All right, let's put her down here and give her the beans. And we get 60-ish out of it. And then less, and then more. And then less. And then more, what is with that? All right, well, whatever. Whoa, spin out. All right. You can see all my all my fields have rotted because I didn't I have not actually done anything. That's going to be an interesting little proposition here in a minute. All right. Kind of jumpy, but no cameras to, the camera doesn't make me sick. That's good. Woo. It is a little bit light on its loafers. All right, let's go over here. Hook it up. Okay. Yeah, it's it's more of the Duke farming size, which is a little bit smaller than than you would get in some of the others. Um, let's make sure we don't get any weird wobbling, weebling thing going on. Oops. Hold on. We're about to crash. We did no damage to our peat, but we did 65% damage to our trailer. <laughs> All right. Yeah, there's a lot of hop on the truck, but 
All right. There's that. Okay, our Western Star. Let's get inside our Western Star. I mean, we were already technically inside the... There's a stain. That's disgusting. All right. Let's start it up. Okay. Lights. Lots of lights. That's an insane number of lights. And a horn. No, that's it. Lights and a horn. That's all you get. Okay, I'm betting this one's going to be nearly identical. I'm going to drive it into a tree. I'm going to run over a sign. Oh my goodness. Come on, Dare. Straighten out. There we go. Got it. Okay. All right. Some good speed. Good speed. All right. About the same as the uh, Kenworth. All right, and then size it. We'll we'll go hook it up to the Agro Liner. We'll have to go get some some equipment to plow and cultivate some fields. They all look sick and dead. <laughs> all right, go. Yeah, what do we think? Um, let's get to the other side of it. Sort of the same. I think it's a little bit. I think it's been modeled appropriately, maybe a little bit small, maybe the Duke farming style, which he does have a reason for why he is or the size they are. Um, but it doesn't have a sick drunk camera on it, so that's good. All right. Turn that off. All right, so that's the Western Star and the Kenworth. I need to check my fields really quick. Do I have a single field that has not been... No, I do not have a single unwithered field. Okie dokie. Huh. All uh, right. So we're going to be back as soon as I get one of these withered fields fixed. Because the next thing we have is a harvester. And I can't bloody well harvest when it's all withered. So uh, we'll be right back. And we're back. I've gotten my fields mostly sorted. All right. Let's check out our last mod of this particular mod spotlight. Uh, just a reminder... If you haven't noticed, this is Mod Spotlight number 24. I only do 25 usually in a season. So what does that mean? Oh, it means that the, the uh, award show coming up really soon. And I've got a surprise coming as well. Ha ha. <laughs> yeah. Teaser. All right. What we have over here in Harvesters is a Gleaner. Gleaner. <laughs> Here is an R75 Gleaner. This is a high production transverse rotor combine. It tells me diddly about its capacity. That's annoying. $170,000. Here is an S77, the biggest combine in the world with a grain take of 390 bushels. Everything is measured in liters in this game, people. 170,000 for that as well. And then there are a bunch of heads. There's a Gleaner 3000. Let's buy that. 61.2. Then we have a Gleaner 3000. That's the same thing. It's the same bloody thing with a different price tag on. All right, let's buy it. Uh, Gleaner 7,200. A Gleaner 8,200. And a Gleaner 9,200. All right, let's check out what we got. Apparently, we had space equipment. All right, let's check out our Gleaners. Here is the R75. That has a really low res texture going on there. Okay, a couple of gleaners. Uh, okay, can't really walk through anything. I can sort of walk through some stock. Uh, goodness. Ooh, I do have to walk up and over that. That's good. All right, so let's get in this gleaner. Uh, left is right, right is left. I hate left is right, right is left. Okay. Get outside here. We can hit M for straw. Chop straw. M. Okay. So let's uh, let's start her up. Okay. Lights. We have lights. Okay. We have we have beacons and we have wigwag type things going on. That's pretty cool. Let's back up. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. We're stuck on the other one. Come on. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Maybe you can't do it. Yeah, let's go forward. 
There. Magically that freed us. Okay, let's uh, back over here a little bit. Pipe out. Okay, it's got a nice pipe to it. I just It just seems kind of like a monolithic color. I don't know. Let's get that in. Okay, now we have, let's go check these out. So this is the, this is the 9200, it looks like. Okay, this is, ah, uh, this is the 8200. Then we got the other one over there, and then we have this. And this one, which is weird and derpy. Okay. All right, let's go and check the uh, speed rating of our cleaner. Out of the bloody thing. Okay. Go, cleaner, go! 15, 16, 15. <laughs> Basically 15. Just, which is about commiserate with just about any other one out there. Of speed. These are not speed demons. I'm going to crash it. All right, let's grab. Um, let's grab one of these hats. I really don't care which hat I grab. Got it. My harvester is now turned red for some reason. Don't know really know why that is. Okay. Can I make it? I cannot make it through there. Well, bugger. <laughs> All righty. Uh, well, we're going to do a little bit of damage. Oh, no, we just cleared it. Never mind. All right, let's go over here. Okay, so we've got chop straw on. Okay. Let's turn on. Hire the worker. Okay, very simple, just grabs it and dumps it. Okay, you're you're not okay, chopped straw okay. Damn, straw. Nope. Nope, nope, no nope, wrong button. Keep going. Damn. There we go. So it has to say straw, which is the inverse of everything else, which is saying, okay, well, whatever. All right, we're going to let him go for a little bit. Let's check out our Gleaner S77. Wow, that's like the black hole. Whoa, I'm going to fall in the black hole. Ah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely zero texturization there. That's, oh, let me start. Okay, that's that, and yep got a horn. I didn't hit the horn on the other one, but whatever. All right. This guy goes. Same speed. Okay. Good. I, it's just so monolithic. Just oh, so terribly monolithic. I need to shove this thing over. There we go. All right. So that gives me this thing. I can fold it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight row ahead. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Sorry, I was testing something. Yep. So it's way it's got a it's got a weight issue, I think. Alright, this. Ah, this one cannot fold. Okay, so let's look in here again really quick. All right, so this. All right, so the cheaper 3000 can fold, the more expensive 3000 cannot. That doesn't make a heck of a lot of sense. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so that's a 12 row. Okay, never mind, this is a 12 row. All right, so the 12 row doesn't fold, the 8 row does. I just ran into it because it has magic, par magic points. Okay, let's go cut some corn. Okay. 
All right, turn. Stop. Higher. Way you go. Wow, it's just like a black hole of doom. Okay, let's go and see if we can get some wheat out of the uh, gleaner up the hill here. Let's go get them, chase them down. I think the gleaners are, um, they're monolithic. They're, it's just ridiculously monolithic too. It, they need a lot of finish, I think. Now the Kenworth and the Western Star, the finish looks good. The sizing just looks a little bit small. I know why, based on talking to Duke, but look, it pipes out. Perfect. I'm so glad it pipes out. Okay, so he's at 15%. Uh, what does that look like? About 4,000, 3,000? That looks like about 3,000 for 20%. It's so about 15,000 liters. That's what it looks like. Um, and you're looking at about 1,500 for 10 percent, so about 15,000 liters. No graphics whatsoever there. That's disappointing. It's like they were, yeah, I, hmm. yeah, I, I, I'm sorry, I, I just have to go with the classes. They're just better all the way around. Um, okay, so, uh, this is my dear Tebbers. We've had a, a, a action-packed, you weren't here for it, action-packed seeding session. Uh, we've uh, looked at the Western Star. It's actually, we've looked at the Kenworth K100. It's not a bad truck. It's nicely detailed. It has a little bit of clip problems. Um, and I'd like to see it probably a little bit bigger. Um, though I understand why it's the size it is, I still think it could use just a little bit of little bit of increase in size um, it, it wouldn't be it wouldn't kill it um, let's see if I can get this thing down here also it bounces and jostles a heck of a lot I'd like to see it sit down in the road a little bit better we also have the Western Star the Western Star is also a little bit small I think um, but also just a nice truck overall it has a little nose on it a little Invisa nose I don't know why you can also clip into the back and, and the bed it looks stained back there which is kind of creepy as heck but if you like a lot of lights it's got a lot of lights as a western star we also did the uh gleaners the r75 and the s77 um just go get the terra tracks just go get the class 770 or or 780 terra tracks and use them i mean that's that's just the most disappointing thing in the world right there that there's no there's no, yeah. All right. So until next time, the last episode of this season before we go into the mod, oh, uh, mod award show. I can't even say it. Has been Dare Tebbers. We've been here in Westbridge Hills Farm off Giant's Titanium Pack. Till next time. Bye.